Hi, my name is David Lee, founder and owner of Vital Health. I just want to tell you about this really interesting assessment tool that I use called the BioScan or the quantum resonance device. And I just want to show you um, how this whole assessment works. Now with this assessment, it's a full assessment that takes about an hour and a half. With this assessment, I do a hormonal assessment as well as a food score sheet and also a health consult. So there's two other main assessments that's done with this BioScan that you're gonna see in a minute, which is I do an analysis using a sheet where people fill out and score um, what their hormone levels and symptoms are like. And I also do an assessment of people's diet using a food score sheet. And then I also do a scan using this device where it scans the body with 60,000 waves that magnetically um, reads every cell of the body so that literally if the cells of the body are weak in any way, the magnetic frequency of that cell will be weak. And this device reads that and it will filter it through a major medical health database of information. And I will get almost a 40 page readout of the person's various um, health conditions of the various states of their body, like their organs, their kidneys, their lungs. It will show me what their vitamin levels are like, uh, what the trace mineral uh, levels are like, um, how osteoporotic are they, what's happening in their bones, what's happening to their hormone levels, um, what's happening to their toxic level, you know, where the toxins are, what level they are in their toxic levels in the various organs of the body. So it really gives me an in-depth analysis snapshot of the person's health state and it's really revolutionized my practice. So I just want to show you this and demonstrate and show you how it works. It only takes one minute for the scan and then I do the rest of the assessments uh, with my client as you're going to see in a minute how it works. So let's see how this BioScan assessment works. As I said before, um, here's my health consult sheet that I use and the food score sheet and, uh, that I use and our hormonal intake or hormonal level sheet that um, is when my client here who has graciously um, showed up to do this video with me will be filling out and uh, so he's already done this with me so I just want to show you what the assessments consists of and of course the main uh, assessment which is my BioScan um, setup. So as you can see it's set up with a laptop, the device and the device is connected with uh, two cords which is the electro cord here and which Zuin will be holding in a minute and the USB cord and also it has a USB stick that has um, most of the program that's communicating with the main desktop program. So this is basically it for this whole system. It's software driven. So we've entered the information to do the BioScan for Zuen. And if you can see, um, we've entered in his name, his sex, his birth date, his height, and his weight. In kilograms, his height, and centimeters. That's all you need to run this program. And then I'm going to save the information and now we're ready to go into test mode. I go up to the top menu and I hit test mode and then near the bottom we have the start button and we're ready to start. Zuin, can you do the honors please? And you can hold onto the electrode, just relax, okay? Uh, make sure that there's no cell phones in the pocket. Any keys in the pocket, Zwin? Yeah, so please take all keys. So make sure you ask your client to take all rings, cell phones, keys, anything that could be conductive, you know, could be used as a conductor, right? It may affect the frequencies as well. So just relax the arm and the electrode or the probe has to be held in an upright manner. This is going to take roughly about 59 seconds and the scanning will begin. And you can hear the beep. 
I have the volume a little bit higher because I want you to just hear the beeping. And this is the magnetic waves and the device going through the various organ systems of the body, reading the body. Sometimes your clients will feel a little tingle. They'll actually feel the frequency. It's very low level current, um, doesn't hurt you. Some, some of my clients do actually feel it. And as you can see, uh, you'll see they put a model of an actual body going around in circles. And it's also showing a picture of the various parts of Zuen's body that it is assessing for those few seconds. So now we're in the heart lymphatic system. Now we're going into his brain. Okay, it's finished. It's always important to save the file. So now we have to get the report from the testing. I usually wait until I get the report before I tell the client to let go of the probe. Okay, you can let go of the probes when, thank you. Then, as you can see, it shows like a bar graph that shows up as well as the various levels. So, as you can see, we're looking at the cardiovascular system on this first reading. And the cardiovascular system, um, they have these green bars in the center, which means they're normal, there's nothing to worry about. Then the dark blue bars is mildly abnormal, that's also okay. What I'm mainly looking for is where the readings are deficient or excess in the yellow bars or red. Red represents severe excess or severe deficiency. Yellow means there's definitely a weakness happening. So it's the yellow and red that I'm looking for. In Zwin's case, the myocardial blood perfusion volume um, is a little bit on the deficiency side. Um, his oxygen consumption is a little bit on the higher side. Um, it's not that bad yet. He doesn't have a lot of severe readings. So this is where my BioScan book, because all the results are in medical language for a nutritionist or for any practitioner, it's quite difficult to read. So what I've done is I've worked with a medical student and I've, we've actually come up with this manual where I've reinterpreted all the readings of the scans so that you can look it up yourself. So even my clients are buying these books because it's helpful for them when they get the 40 page readout so they can understand what the readings mean. So that is, um, that is the benefit of having the book as well. So this is, um, this is the scan for the cardiovascular. Um, we can look at the digestive. Just gotta give it a few seconds before the bar graphs come up. It's come up. You scroll down to the second page showing the gastrointestinal functions. So now you can see the different pepsin secretion coefficient, the gastric peristalsis, right? Gastric absorption. So if I was to go to my book, I can actually go to the gastrointestinal section and look at um, what those actual readings mean. So for people that are actually wanting to know, you could get the book, you could get my book, pepsin secretion coefficient. So when the pepsin is on the deficiency side, that means that it indicates a state of too much or not enough. Uh, the stomach is unable to produce hydrochloric acid. So there isn't enough hydrochloric acid being produced in his digestion right now. Now that could be because he, this is where you need to have the training. So this is where you need to have some basic physiology and anatomy under your belt to understand some of this. Um, and this is what my course is about. So what you need to realize is he hasn't eaten for a few hours. So therefore he hasn't eaten any protein, therefore his hydrochloric acid secretions would not be that high. 
So these are not alarming signs. You have to understand what's going on with the person, how long has it been since he's eaten. So this is why I do all these other assessments. You know, I ask the client, how long has it been since you've eaten? So these are the questions you need to ask your client when you do these assessments. Um, also, you look at his prostolic wave. His prostolic wave is mildly abnormal. There's no issues there. His small intestine absorption is also on the low side. But again, Zuin hasn't eaten for quite a while now. So all the digestive functions would be on the slower side. So that is how you would read this, okay, as a practitioner. So these are just some of the signs. Let's take a look at... Um, his bone mineral. So you're not going to be looking at all the uh, all the readings because there's just too many. You would basically look at the readings that pertain to his nutrition and health. Obviously, Zwin is a 27, 28 year old. He doesn't have a lot of severe health issues. He's mainly interested in nutrition and building muscle for his training and to get in shape. So I'm looking at those things that are going to be you know related to those areas. So again, we're looking at bone analysis. So this is the bone mineral analysis. And um, so I'm going down here. Uh, we've got a few high. Calcium loss is getting on the weak side and bone hyperplasia. So that is, in a lot of cases, people have this issue because we usually don't get enough calcium for our bones. That is one of the issues. Our North American diet does not carry enough calcium. So one of the things that I look at is his diet. So that's why I do a food score sheet. So this is where um, these readings are so important to be able to confirm what's happening in his diet as well as his hormone levels, as well as his health consult sheet. So this is basically the health scan and then we will be getting into the other intake sheets as well. So I hope this gives you a good idea of what the BioScan full assessment is like um, in my whole system uh, within the Vital Health uh, program. Thank you.